Yeah, man. The offline warriors kind of fought back, but we, we got a lot of new names that I want to see transition to offline. That's a big thing right now. And right now, Ooh. we got an offline name who's playing, I'll say, a familiar character. Definitely. All right. Whoever's so, playing is Diddy. I love Rivers Diddy Kong. I'm a big fan of it. It's fighting up against Drake, who's rocking Captain Falcon. I feel like both of these characters have gained a bit of notoriety as of late, or have been for a while, but even especially Falcon, he's just a very dangerous character up against, but Rivers is in turn a very dangerous player. Yeah, and we're, we're going to see Diddy, I think, Ooh, is one of the wait. That really good. Yeah, but Diddy's one of the characters, I think, is, if you want to, like, have a lot of control and not have a lot of cheese, Diddy's the character for you. What so, is this pressure? <laughs> okay. Banana pressure. Many might not know, but he went for the angel drop right there. Didn't work, but he still managed to get the stock. Shouts to Angel Cortez. <laughs> Always got a name drop the king. Yep. The at, progenitor of monkey business. At King 2021. He dropped, he dropped nothing but kings. <laughs> I wonder how often we can name drop this tournament name. <laughs> uh, I'm, f I'm finding all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Play for bringing the whole damn fellowship out here for this one. Yeah. All right, Rivers had the read, but he was positioned just a little too far back. I really, that's one of the drawbacks of Diddy Kong, is like, you bring so much to the table, but it does, like you mentioned, it provides a lot of control, but takes a lot of control. You need to be so precise in how you choose to, like, lock off options from your opponent. But Rivers never let go of the pressure, and we had a very swift free stock to open up this set. Yeah, no, River, Rivers just had a strong lead. And this is my favorite to win the tournament. I'm here to see it. I'm always here for a local hero. Matchup wise, I'm kinda I'm kinda pressed for my man Rake here. I really don't know what he's gonna be able to do, because I feel like even though Small Battlefield offers a lot of opportunity for Falcon to not just build up lots of damage, but also he's got enough space to run away to alleviate that pressure. It didn't seem like he had any of that room to his game in that game one. Yeah, no. It it kind of looked like a body bag right there. <laughs> For like lack of better words. No, yeah, I mean, listen, biases aside, like that's just how it's going to go. A player like River is very well studied and very well equipped for fighting like faster characters like Falcon. It doesn't matter like how confident you are in your buttons. If you can't do anything because you're in the middle of holding shield or tripped on a banana, like you're just at Diddy's mercy. All right. Oh, well, this is a different matchup to be sure. Yeah, this, this ain't Falcon. Alright. So. He's the young PK boy. We have no shortage in experience of uh, seeing this character, but how do you think adjusting from Falcon to Ness is going to help Rake? So, Ness, I think, is one of the characters that might do well in this matchup. His burst, his burst options are really good, and just being able to throw out his hitboxes constantly... Like, even if he's not hitting you, he's still applying positional pressure, and it just causes a lot of fear. He's also one of the characters that are able to, like, just gimp Diddy with fairly ease compared to other characters with the ability to use Yo-Yo at ledge. Ooh, you're right. That's gonna... If we can get a situation oh, yeah. where Rivers is also better than... I guess. Oh, okay. Ready to do better than Falcon, man. Ledge play looking like risky business right now, but that's still a lot of damage built up onto Rake. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, that air dodge so good for Ness. He was yeah. so low to the stage and still managed to get that. Very well spaced peanuts managed to bring things back for Rivers without Rake having the opportunity to build up too much damage. 
Although, I think this is a very convincing start from Ray. The fact that he's able to keep the damage into his favor, I think really good. Although, one thing I do want to point out is that regardless of Reveries having been on the, uh, the losing end for the better half of this game too, he has had more stage control. He's been the one contesting this battle towards the ledge, he's been able to battle off the platforms, and he's able to take a swift stock lead. Yeah, and you notice that Rake has been doing air dodges off the ledge, trying to get trying to get back, and he just called that out with the banana there. And that's how he just took the lead. And this is the things about like top level players that a lot of people don't notice. It, they just take notice of your habits fairly quick. So if you keep doing something over and over, they're gonna take advantage of it. So that's why you gotta mix up your options, guys. Gotta stay fluid with your play. I love the way that Rivers is trying to cover these options right now. He's forcing out the low recoveries from Ray, and constantly putting Ray in a position where he can't turn a counter offensive. But that's gonna do it. 125, back throw from center stage on PS2. You got it. Ooh! Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> yeah, no, not with that DI. No, sir. That game two was looking mighty impressive, but it just wasn't enough to stop Rivers taking a very clean 2-0. Was a good start though. I gotta say, the Ness was definitely putting up numbers immediately. Yeah, it definitely was doing a lot of work. Like right here, you thought it wasn't work. Here, reverse air edge guard. Like those reversals are so important if you're going to be fighting into an unfamiliar matchup or if you're fighting into a lopsided skill level like that. Like anything that could put some wind into your sails, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. And then this is the last one. Yeah, no, that, that was DI too was bad. Hard. DI. I yeah, feel he... like he could have kept it together, but that DI was looking rough. Yeah, it felt like he tried to DI out so he wouldn't get comboed by the F smash, but instead, he just got hit by every single hit. He may have been expecting up smash because Rivers was consistently going for the up smash uh, punish. Yeah. So, like, I kind of understand, but. Yeah, but when you do down tilt, you kind of hold away. Up and away, just so you can get try to get avoid, but it's not always the best thing to do. Yeah.